Hi all. This uh, next video, you'll see sets of uh, videos and pictures. I was working on a friend's boat and he has Mathers Micro Commanders. In the spring, he went to move his boat. It's in a houseboat, 1994, and had twin Mark cruisers, but their Micro Commanders are in hundreds of boats. All very simple. They put them throughout the years. Uh, anyway, he backed his boat out and his starboard engine quit. You know, this is literally the first time he started in the spring. And his starboard engine stopped and we had to pull him in. And if you've been on a houseboat with any little bit of wind, it's always a nightmare and entertaining for the whole dock. But we got him in and got the plane around with it. And we couldn't, uh, couldn't get it to engage, could not get the motor just wouldn't start at all, no matter what you did. The port engine worked fine. Starboard, not so much. Uh, and we got the book out. We troubleshot it. The book's very good on troubleshooting. It didn't lead us astray. If you follow the details on it, and you can understand it a little bit, uh, what happened was it it just wouldn't. It, it was like talking to the box down in the Micro Commander box, and it it wouldn't uh, start it. And if you don't understand the micro commanders, um, what it does is uh, takes a, sends an electronic signal to a box, and inside that box is motors, and you run the cables, the old cables from the motors to the electronic box, and it basically switches from a cable driven to electronic up to the to your uh, throttles and and into your Low, upper and lower stations, if you have both stations. Anyway, uh, they're very, very cool to have. They're very nice. They're when they break, they're always head scratcher. Um, but we did the troubleshooting. Had the box going, and all it would do is click. It sounded like it wanted to work. You could hear it, like, like you turn the keys on, and it like it went through its little uh, diagnostics before it allowed you to start, and. Then, just wouldn't, you didn't get the lights, you didn't get anything that, that you needed. And in the video, you'll see a little bit of it. Uh, I also reference the place where he sent the box to get repaired. Highly recommend whenever we, he got the uh, box back, we had to connect everything up. And uh, part of that uh, fee was they would help you connect it and troubleshoot it because obviously they can't fly all, all over the country to do this. Um, but they're very knowledge, extremely knowledgeable. They knew exactly what it was like. They were there. And um, we uh, hooked everything up and put the box in, hooked everything up. Took a couple hours. And then uh, them taking us through how to do the final rigging was a, probably another mm, half hour, 45 minutes tops. And um, off we would go. But um, if you can follow this, uh, you can bypass this in an emergency and you, to know that it's the box. And then the book tells you how to do it and it'll tell you, you to disconnect it. And you literally bypass the box. And if the motor starts, you know it's in the box. And when we sent it out, sure enough, somebody had sprayed lithium grease all through there. This is what he said. And it ruined the motors uh, down below. And that was, wasn't him. It was previous owner. So whoever did it uh, attempted to repair it and it failed miserably. And, and uh, it's not cheap. But uh, having uh, uh, the comfort of having uh, the things work when they, they need to is very refreshing. And then that cost gets real low whenever you uh, understand what those shifters are actually doing. So anyway, uh, enjoy the video. If you have any comments, let me know. And um, again, uh, we just did basically the remove and install. Uh, the company in the that I referenced in the video are very helpful. If you have any problems, that's where you turn to. Mine is just to show you a, just a visual aid. So, good luck. Bye-bye. It's a port engine. Okay, today's project, Mike, we got Mathers Micro Commanders that uh, won't let the engine start. If we disconnect the cables, the engine starts once we jump the uh, electronics in that box. So we talked to some people and they said to take off these cables. That's probably our problem. 
And then we're gonna send that box in and see if it, uh, what fixes it. Well, I wanna do a follow up on a video I started. Uh, this is a um, video on uh, Mathers Micro Commanders. Uh, a lot of, lots and lots and lots of boats had these. And what they are is they're, they're the electronical box that takes, takes a, a mechanical cable system and turns it in electrical for the, the controls of the boat. It's very, very, very nice. They're put on many, many, many boats for many, many, many years. This is a 94 vintage. Uh, the problem was in the previous video, this would not shift, it was clicking. Uh, and the this, what we discovered in the troubleshooting, the troubleshooting book is quite good if you have one, um, that the problem was in the electrical part of it. And the reason it was once we sent it out to Robert's Maritime Systems right here, uh, is that the motors back inside underneath here, they're down in there, were just, it, uh, they got, somebody sprayed, I guess, lithium grease all over it, and that they, uh, they got, they damaged the motors, so the motors wouldn't work, and that resulted in it, it's not working, and it happened all of a sudden, so uh, it was working and didn't work. Uh, what it is, is you have electronic, you have 12 volt coming in. If you see the wires coming in on the top and bottom, 12 volt systems, and then all those other wires are the controls that are inputted. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on all the other stuff, but the other cables in the back side there, and one is for throttle, and one is a ship. And those cables wrap all the way to the motors, and they go back to here. You've got your throttle cable on this side and your shift cable on this side and we changed with new shift cables we put new ones in it uh, and also we sent that box out to get it done I'm not going to say how much it costs you guys can uh, call those guys but they're very very knowledgeable uh, Bob that was there was he was extremely helpful knew exactly what he was doing highly recommend him uh, what we what he did we sent this box out to him he repaired it sent it back to us with new cables, install the cables, and the cables get installed. If you look in there, they get installed in that jack screw. And then down inside here, there's a, a nut right there that goes to that hole. I think it's seven sixteenths. And you unscrew that, and that's the cable in. Uh, and he'll give you instructions on when you install this, but that's how you tear it apart. And then there's two stop bolts back here. You can take that off. That's just a, that holds the cable in place, and the other one locks this for adjusting. Uh, in a nutshell, and then on these, once you hook those up, you get a dimension on there. I think it's five sixteenths after the nut. Yeah, it'll go back on. That. It's see what that nut is to the threads. Supposed to I think it's five sixteenths on both of them. When you hook cables up, you adjust them to five sixteenths, and then and don't go by me, but. You know, if you get in a pinch, maybe you go, but go by, uh, call the, the Bob and those guys up. They, they know more about it. And then what we did was we adjusted these, the throttle. You take the throttle ends off here and here, and you completely loosen them up. Now what happens is those have to be adjusted to where they're just at, for the idle, just on the stop. Okay, so this has to be a slip fit in the, in the with the throttle on the carburetor at, at its stop. And then this has to be adjusted like where it's neutral, where it's in, uh, in uh, uh, where the prop spins. So this has to be neutral, then that has to be a slip fit. And then after that, I'm just, just a nutshell. And then after that, we went and uh, uh, did a full, we did a full uh, throttle. So we, he had us go and start, or turn it, not turn it on, but turn the keys on and take the Micro Commander shift, uh, shifter to full throttle, and this would go to full throttle, and then you disconnect that, and then you adjust it down here, then you're adjusting the cable down in here. Now, I don't know exactly, he'll tell you exactly how to do it, but anyway, you do it down in here, and you, that turns that, this, when you're doing that, turns these, these cable in or out. And then you have to have that at full throttle with a slip fit and make sure that's correct.
And then you do the same thing over here. You get it in the neutral and it should be full fit. And then you'd have to have it in gear with that thing all the way. And it has to have a slip fit there. So basically what you're doing is you're in gear and you got full throttle. So um, I, I don't want to go into a lot. If you have problems, um, I can't emphasize it enough. It's Robert's Maritime Systems. He, they're more than knowledgeable on uh, what we did here. So uh, anyway, that fixed our problem from the previous post. And uh, like I said, I can't, you know, it's pretty not that hard to do, take these apart. Once you take the cables and electrical off, uh, here, you know, you take a picture, of course, but the manual is very good. It shows where everything should go. And if you, if you're very patient and do this, take it apart and put it together the way it's supposed to be, all should be well. And uh, if you have any issues, again, these guys are very knowledgeable. But um, that's where we're at. And that's uh, how we fix boats. And this is what we're doing today. A very, very nice day. So I hope you all are enjoying your day. And uh, hope you have, like the video and, and enjoy. I hope it helps you somewhere down the line. Bye-bye.